It was very interesting. Fireworks at a county commission meeting over employee raises. We'll have the very latest in a live report. You're watching KFBS 12. Live, local, late breaking. This is Heartland News at 6. There is a problem in county government. Right there. I'm willing to expose everything. I'm not a politician. I'm not going to play games to get along with everybody. Cape Girardeau County's commissioners clash again, this time over salary increases for some employees. The very latest tops your news at 6. Good evening, everyone. The latest battle began last Thursday when Commissioner Jay Purcell told us he didn't know about substantial raises given to three county employees. And believe it or not, it actually ended with all three commissioners agreeing on new rules when it comes to those raises. CJ Cassidy is live in the newsroom with more on the contentious meeting that led up to that vote. CJ? Yeah, Kathy, it all came down to this memo. Now, this is a study made by a review committee that recommended raising employee salaries. Commissioner Jay Purcell says he's not really worried about what's in this memo. He wants to know why he didn't get a copy of it in the first place. It's no wonder you don't keep track of what's going on in county government when you have such a communication problem, not only with the county commissioners, but with the other county officials and county employees, who most of whom don't even like being in the same room with you because of your negative attitude and your toxic attitude. Don't forget skunk, that's what you I said last year. I wish that you would stop your demagoguery. By design, I believe, and I'm speculating as you have, that some people didn't want this to be out in the open public vernacular. They didn't want it to be discussed and debated. The uh, point is, I know... I know for us to get on with county government I agree. and quit playing your games. I agree. All I ask no, is, is from here agree. on out... Be Everybody open. wait to see what his next deal is going to be, okay? Hopefully nothing. If everyone is open, transparent, and honest, there won't be any God, here's his, his favorite words. We are open, transparent. You've admitted that I never got this document. You've admitted well, that it's I don't know if you did or not. I, know I, I didn't give it to you, and I'll not and, give you anything. And you had it. Yeah. You're the one that was giving it. So if you didn't give it to me, how would I get it? By working and showing up and being involved. If you, you were saying been you would have never given here. it to me, how would have I ever gotten it? Oh, per sale. I mean, just think about what you're saying. Take a deep breath. You had it and you didn't give it to me and you said you would never give it to me. What does that say? That says I really like you. The point is, we have a job to do and you have to put personalities beside that. You have to do what's right. This should have went through <laughs> as an agenda item. It should have been discussed and it should have been in the minutes. It never happened. Isn't he wonderful? You know, we all fail to listen to our parents sometimes, <laughs> and I sure did in this one. When my father said, don't ever run for a county government seat. <laughs> <laughs> And people who showed up to watch today's uh, county commission meeting said it was quite entertaining. In the end, all three commissioners voted to put an evaluation process into place when it comes to future raises. They also decided to post employee salaries on the county website and say this is the first time they've all agreed on something in months. For more on today's county commission meeting, go to our website, kfes12.com. Live local late breaking, CJ Cassidy, Heartland News.